Fireworks ahead of the match, and no surprises with a 4 4 2 lineup for Hearts manager George Burley. Samuel Camazola retained his place in the team with Jankowskis and Bednar, the front two, and seven goal Rudy Skatchel in there as well. Alex McLeish brought Marvin Andrews in and started with a back three. Nacho Novo employed to get behind the Hearts defence with Buffel and Jeffers left on the bench. Referee Kenny Clark, commentary Jock Brown and Mark Cately. Well, great interest in how Rangers will start the match and line up. There's going to be Jankowskis and Hartley to start the match and we're underway in perhaps a league match of the season so far. Without question, I think. Hearts, of course, populated by a lot of players who are totally unimpressed by historical old firm dominance. Men like Pisas. Cut noise with him. That's Purcell with a cross. It reaches Bernard. That was very difficult indeed for Bernard. Involuntary dummy that, I think, by Bernard. It's Scatchel. No way out there to Murray. Looks and beat the ball. That's Scatchel's cross. Excellent save by Vakarus. He needed help though. From Rodriguez and Jankowskis. Fantastic ball in from Scatchel. And Erickson caught with the ball. But that's a great ball. That's a great header and a great save. Good football all round. Very good attempt on goal that by Jankowskis. Nobody from Scatchel looks at also. Here's Hartley now with a corner kick. Absolutely a deadly, deadly service there from Hartley. How many times have we seen that this year? Rangers conceding from corners and free kicks. Man not in front of the space. And that is a super finish, all made by the delivery. Plenty of pace, nobody in front of Bednar. And that is a simple finish. Super, super goal for Hearts. Sean there by Andrews and was almost collected by Scatchel. This is Hartley. Scatchel again. It's a very intelligent turn and a good delivery again. And a great chance for Bednar. It was about six inches too high for Bednar. Ferguson picks out Mamucci. Good block by Pisas. Calm play for defence. Uh, Completely confident team. Excellent pass there by Jankowskis. And Andrews out of reach as he brings down Bednar. Clear free kick there to Hart. Jankowskis to Bednar, helping it on. He's reached. Rudy Skatchel! What an effort that was by Skatchel. Yeah, and decisive defending again there, look. Ball just dropping down. And that's the last man you want on the ball. Scatchel has had an excellent start to this game. His delivery's been good. That's Purcell with a header. And Gordon did well despite the attentions there of Kiriakos. It's Camazola. Good touch on the ball, still Camazola. Tackled eventually by Rodriguez, appears for a penalty. Mamucci with the clearing header, only reaches Pisas. And a push by Rodriguez that time, now that was a, a clear push on Simmons, and Rangers have escaped. Kenny Clark right in front of that as well. Yeah, hands on there, a clear push from Rodriguez. You see it from behind. He's the first one. He's just it's a tackle for me, there's nothing in that one. Julian Rodriguez is going off, well, he's going off in a manner which suggests he's not in any way unfit. So it looks like a tactical change being made here by Rangers. days I would suggest for well, Barry Ferguson so far and here's Andrews a chance to play this in it's a good ball in and very alert sharp goalkeeping by Gordon it's Paul Hartley now 
It's a very good ball across, and Jankowskis is a threat there, all right. In between Rickson and Andrews. That's a fantastic delivery from Paul Harter here, and this is a chance. Rickson just, just nudging Jankowskis underneath the ball there, but that is a great opportunity. Have to check back, there's nowhere to go that direction. He's done well to get support from Rickson. Oh, he's done well, promising for Rangers. Presley did well too. Presley was way to the top of Greg Gordon, who reacted well. Better play from Rangers. I have to say, well, there's no way in which you could grudge Hearts a victory on the performance so far. I think the, the, the chances have come along, I think about the better chances. There's not been a lot of chances throughout from either, either side, but I think Hearts have created the better chances. Worried that the lack of efforts on goal again today. So uh, I think it's not been a, a game for the Teorist. Oh, Nieto's got in behind Presley. He's no support at all. He's on his own. Foster trying to get there. Well, good play by Nieto. That's the chance for Jackers. The block was made by Nielsen. Was it handball? No, says the referee. Well, Nieto complaining better. The entire stand behind Craig Gordon wanted a penalty. Nieto, fantastic work there, and that is a clear handball, whether it's intentional or not, it's handball, and the ball is going goal-bound. Back it comes to Nielsen, it's all scrappy and untidy, as Scatchel tries to get the better of Andrews. Was he pushed by Andrews? No, says the referee, but it is a throw to Rangers. Rickson goes in, they get the ball back, and the snatch of goes down, the referee quite sensitive in my view, lets them go on, and the final whistle goes, it's eight straight victories for Hearts at the start of the season, a remarkable record, and there's jubilation all around Tyne Castle, me and Murray and Stephen Presley are not too happy at all with each other, I don't know what that's about, but they're very upset and angry, Julian Burley have been an outstanding match for Hearts, supporters have seldom known things so good in 1960 when they last won the league championship but that is right on the cards now they've proved it against one of the old firm that was always the challenge they had they've done it and they've done it convincingly there can be no argument they're worth a victory we've started well but we also know that we're not a quarter way gone but um you, you can't not the players with their attitude and commitment. And, and, and to win eight games in the trot in any league, it's a magnificent achievement. Hearts didn't give you any freedom at all, did they? No, um, we, we, we felt we, we said that we didn't want to give them, them any freedom, but they were up for it, and as they would be, they, they played, played it well, and I think they, the disappointing thing is they won more of the individual battles than we did. Just the last 20 minutes, and correct me if I'm wrong, but were your players happy to settle for 1-0? Oh, definitely. <laughs> we were, because um, Rangers put us under pressure, and we were, you know, disjointed a little bit with, with you know, having to change the personnel. So, you know, 1-0 gives you three points, and um, certainly we were pleased with that.